Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be another infection-free zone playthrough. Um, I'm going to try and do it a little bit differently today. I'm going to uh, I'm going to record the whole thing, but uh, I'm going to see if I can't uh, cut it up to something a little bit shorter that only shows the important things. Because let's face it, there's a lot of uh, me thinking and a lot of uh, waiting for things to happen around these things. Um, I did a video yesterday uh, where I actually played in, I think it was Dijon, France, uh, and I tried using walls. Now, the video, I don't know what I did. I, I screwed up the video somewhere, so I don't have the video. Um, but I got to be honest, on the last night, most of the walls were breached so quickly. Um, so I'm starting to think that walls are a waste of uh, effort. So um, I'm going to go on. Oh, and the other thing that I noticed too was, so when we were in Crofton, USA the last time, we got those humans again and those humans started killing our people. We didn't get any humans in Dijon, France, and I don't think I got any last time either. Also, we had 744 uh, infected comes through Dijon, France. I think that's the highest I've ever gotten. So we're going to go to, to Cambridge, UK, I think, this time. Um, and we're going to try this again. And I've learned a couple of new uh, things. So we're going to go hordes at 140% resources are going to go down to 70%, but people I'm going to put up, see, you, you notice, see, it's hard difficulty here with only 40 people. It's also the same hard difficulty with 50 people. Well, I'm taking the 50 people because I think, uh, people are by far your most important, uh, resource. I'd say, yeah, I'm going to go for, for people are number one. Food is number two. Um, because obviously people die without food. Uh, and then uh, security is number three. The world as we know it. Because you have to make sure that um, that, that things Operators, aren't killing you. Oh no, this is where I... Uh -huh. oh, okay, we'll so this is where I played uh, yesterday and lost it. So... I guess we're going to get to try. So what I did was I put walls here. I put walls here. I put walls. I think I put a wall here like this. And then I put wall, uh, a wall here. No, actually I put a wall down here. And then over here and then up here like this and up and around like that. And when the infected came in on that last day, they just wrecked the place i still won but okay find some um, i lost a bunch of people and uh a bunch of the walls uh went down also uh, and i tried a couple of other uh things like gathering bricks and gathering steel you can gather bricks and steel although i find in the early game you really don't need the the bricks and the steel all that much so we're going to see if we can get further along. Yeah, I'm going to try to use these two buildings, this building, and then these. Yeah, these buildings as my base. And I'm going to try to uh, ring this whole thing, probably this building too ring this whole thing with guard towers. That's what I'm going to try and do, see if it uh, it works. So first thing is create Receiving. my two new squads. Waiting orders. The next thing is I'm going to go out as far as I can, right there. And... Then we are going to gather wood. I'll make it right there. Uh, 
I don't think I'll ever get out that far. See, I can put 412 people on this and <coughs> and gain 824 wood. I've got 55 wood right now, which means that I can start my first... I can start my first few towers right now. I'm going to start four towers, I think. Okay. Yeah, see, right there, it gets me all the way along those buildings down there, so I think that's good. And then... I think that's pretty good there. That's a good... Uh, that's two. And then three. I guess I'll go around this way, right? Why not? Four. <laughs> that leaves eight people gathering wood. Meh, we'll see. Uh, I'll get these first four done anyway. And now, oh, let's turn on our scavenging. And this guy is going to go... We're on the move. Two. Operator. Huh? Operator. Oh, that Ready guy is going into that one. Weird. Roger. I think that's my first day set up. Okay, so it is 4.30, basically the end of day one. I've got the first four um, guard towers put up. I've started the uh, warehouse, and but what I did was I removed the eight people from the guard towers because and this is kind of important. When when you finish building one of these things, people automatically go into it. Well, they're just sitting there doing nothing during the day because they're really not needed. So I put them uh, back out on uh, wood cutting. So right now, there are 35 people on wood cutting, which is good because I think for half of the day, I had 13 people just sitting idle. So that was not smart. <laughs> um but now I am going to take eight people off of wood cutting. And I am going to put max people in each of these four. And then I'm going to let uh, the I'm going to let the scavengers stay out for now uh, because it's the first night and they're really close to uh, home anyway. Uh, so I'm not really Building worried clear. about it. The rest of the woodcutters will be coming in pretty shortly. Reporting. This might be his Reporting. last building. Ready? It's his second Sir, last operator, building. the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. If we can continue our scavenging there we operations go. 5 30. Dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Oh, keep going. Carry on. We need those resources. Sir, we're down to 22 food. For civilians to work after nightfall. We definitely need food. Home. And really, the scavengers are our source of food right now. So. Okay, let's be safe. Important. There you go. All the tree cutters are coming in, but all of the towers are are built. Clear. I'll put four more up tomorrow, down around this way. Morning, everybody. Time to your list. Hostiles inbound. Okay, it's the next morning. We made it through the night. Uh, there was a little bit of horde activity, but really not much. 
I set up four more towers to be built. We're still building uh, our warehouse. And then after this, we will set up more towers. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably going to put one there. Yeah, because it'll give these three good uh, covering fire. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 people out of 50. Actually, so 50. Yeah. So <coughs> basically what we're going to do is we're going to get enough towers so that at night everybody's in a tower and in the daytime everybody's out shopping. We're not going to let anybody sleep at all. <laughs> all right. So let's do it. Quest, Chief. We found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. <laughs> we could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Bring them in. Okay, so it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and these guys are still going way down there. So I'm going to Waiting orders. change where they're going to here Roger. and here. Just because it's closer and maybe here. Waiting these orders. guys... I'll leave them for now. Waiting orders. Yeah, I'll leave these guys for the moment, but I'll probably change those guys quickly. Um, I'm going to let things keep playing out until they get uh, pulled in for the night, and then I'm going to... Construction complete. Building clear. And then I'm going to pull everybody off. As soon as they start coming in for the night, I'm going to put everybody onto uh, the towers. We've got eight towers up and ready now. <coughs> Although, as these got constructed, people went into them already, so I'll just leave them there. Clear. Waiting orders. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to pull you back to Building here. Clear. No, here. Roger. No, On get in way. there first. Lower Glifton. Then Going here there. and here. On my way. Be there. Waiting orders. So there's two guns sitting waiting for this squad now. Oh, there you go. That's how they did it. It was exchange. Reporting. So it's these guys. Exchange there. Enough sleep, people. And they don't have any. <laughs> Alright. Which is okay. I'm going to pause this. So... We're going to continue with uh, scavenging, and I think we're going to concentrate on building um, more defenses today. So guard tower is zero. Scavenger I will max for now. Uh, and I will... F actually, let me just... Uh, I'll build the four new buildings, actually. Wooden tower. I'm going to put one more here. Oops. What the heck happened? I'm going to put it, yeah. Right there. So it so it covers as much of this as possible, even though uh, I don't ever expect anything to come up here. So then... One, two, yeah, I can't put that there because of that pile of rocks. I can, I can scavenge that out at some point, and I will once the, the full game comes up. But right now, so I've got, I've got three towers down here covering each other, which should help a lot. And I think what I'll do is I'll just keep, taking these towers right down this sidewalk until we get to here, and then I'll connect it back up there. But for right now, so they don't have anybody on them, so I have to go back here. Let's take everybody off of scavenging again, and we will put them on 
builder and then we'll put everybody back on scavenger so i'm gonna let this play and i will see you guys uh tonight okay it's 4 30 uh on day three and i've got one squad coming back now another squad will be coming back shortly i'm gonna keep both of these squads back Waiting here at clear. this point going there we finished construction. Oh, it'd be nice if I could get this done before time runs out. 99. Yes! Excellent. We got six um, towers up today. As soon as they start pulling people in for the night. Oh, it's uh, the middle of June, so, yeah, it'll be a little late, uh, later there. than normal. No, you are Building not clear. going Operator. out. We're on the move. Stop working. Start winding down for some rest. All right. So, everybody stopped working, which means I will pull everybody off of scavenging and put everybody... Uh, zero and max guards so we got 28 guards that leaves 15 people still to be able to guard uh, so we can do essentially seven more towers and I am going to put out seven more towers all right let's get through the night Okay, uh, it's the end of the third night, start of the fourth day, and we had a bunch of infected last night. Um, definitely, um, something about this map, there's more infected on this map than any of the other ones that I've been on. But, uh, now it's time to set things up for the day. So, we will take everybody off of... Guard. Uh, hey, pause. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources to construct <laughs> work at some of the buildings. I don't know. Maybe I didn't pause it correctly, or it unpaused on its own. I don't know what the heck happened there. We're gonna but... see. So, we're gonna make more wooden towers. See, I can put that there, and it covers everything quite well. And then I put one there, and then same thing here. I'm going to really... One, two, three. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. That one's covering six towers now. I like that. All right. Now, everybody else. Oh, actually, no. You know, you know the other thing that I want to do? So... I've got a secure building up here. I think now I want a secure building down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a shelter right there. Is that only taking three? Well, you know what? I'm going to make a shelter right here. Twelve. Oh, that took six. All right. That's good enough. So we will put everybody else back on to scavenging. We've got 52 right now, but we go through that pretty fast. So let's put those last six back on scavenging. And then we'll have to watch when these guys get done and make sure we pull them out and put them onto scavenging also. So let's get through day four. 
Okay, it is 6 p.m. on day four. Reporting. There's some horde there. I think it's time to pull everybody in. Uh, so let's bring you down there. Oh, you're just going out to get that. So I think... Receiving. I think I'll let you get that. We'll watch you, though. But Waiting you orders. have to come back in. We're on the move. And I'll give it another couple of... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to give it another couple of seconds. Everybody's going off of scavenging. And everybody's going on to guard. Uh, what else we got? Oh, everybody's coming off of building. And everybody's going on to guard. Well, that's max building again, so... We'll get just a tiny bit more done. Alright. Let's go. We're running out of resources. This guy, once he picks up that food, I'm bringing him right back Ready in. Direction. I want these guys to be in here when this horde comes out. And I want... Yeah, I want people to be Going in there. there. Ready for right, action. You gotta come back in now. Time to sleep, everyone. Roger. Tomorrow's another day. So, we're pretty close to good on tower. Like, this side. The towers on this side are nice. Man, if anything gets that close, I'll be, I'll be a little surprised. And then having, um, having fortified buildings at each of the corners is going to be really nice, too. Receive on my way. And of course, they're they're hitting literally the one that's the the least defended. There's only three towers able to Infection to hit this clear. one. Oh, these guys are fine. I think. Our building's under attack. Yeah, got them. <laughs> they died pretty quickly. I still like to get some more towers up there. I mean, it takes some active micromanagement to do it this way, but. Having everything shooting at night, I think, really, really helps. All right. I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, 5 a.m. We made it through the night. Um, fair bit of horde last night, too. So let's get everybody off of guard duty. Let's get everybody back on builder duty. Now, okay, so 36, so we got 48 people uh, at night, and we got 54, so that's 6, which means that we can really support 3 more towers. Honestly, I think I want, I want one more tower down here. I want it, yeah, see, if I put that tower right there, it's going to be able to support four different towers, and nobody will ever get to it. So I'll do that. Now the other place, I think, yeah, see, if I put that, come on, I really don't like that, uh, I wish there was some way to get rid of that. Sometimes. Come on. If I put that out there. Well, the thing is, yeah, so it'll be supported 
it'll be supported by four other towers if I put that out there. Well, I guess the front. You know what? Just yeah, I'll do I'll do that, and then the third tower. I'm almost thinking I want to do. Yeah, same thing here. See, it'll get supported by one, two, three, four. It'll get supported by five towers out here. Heck it. I'm going to do it. Heck it? What the heck is heck it? Okay. So everybody's building. So max scavenge. And I will see you guys tonight. Okay, 5.30, we got through the night. Uh, we got a couple of horde in these buildings down here, uh, which is fine. We just avoid those. I like to pull them in and kill them or uh, definitely mark where they're going to be uh, during the day because obviously I do not ever want to go into a building and fight them hand-to-hand -hand in a building. That's the... That's the most uh, difficult possible way to fight them. But um, for the rest of the, the night, we actually got through quite well. Uh, the towers really, really helped. So now we take everybody off of guard duty. We max building and we max scavenging in that order we can't do food preparation yet because we're not uh, done with that building but it will be very nice to have these right now I've, I've got my guys out in the middle of, of things but it would be very nice to have them in a protected building that's able to shoot you know on each of the corners I'll probably have to take that building too but I will uh, see you guys tonight Clear. Building clear. Okay, it's almost 6 o'clock. Um, started too many buildings at the same time, so be careful of that. So because so many buildings are started at the same time, I ran out of uh, wood. And what happens is it slowed everything down. If I had to put more people on wood... See, this is only 60% done. That's after two days. 42% done. 48% done. Um, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to be careful about that tomorrow. I need to put more people on scavenging wood. See, there's still a lot more wood left in the area, but I've only got what is it six available right now. So, uh, let's call. All of my people in. Oh, hey. He found some stuff. Wow. We're on the move. Reporting. And you can come back in. Also, you're going to go down here. Roger. All right. Let's try and get through tonight. And I will see you guys in the morning. Okay. Uh, it's almost 6 a.m on day seven which means tonight's going to be the final night and we're going to get hit a lot i did some counting <laughs> i actually have one more tower that i actually can man which is a real bummer because that tower would have really helped out with those so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take obviously everybody off of guard duty and then i'm going to prioritize i think this one and this one and everybody else is going to go on to scavenging for now until I get enough 
wood. And hopefully I can finish this one before tonight also. So, I'll see you tonight. Okay, it's 5.30 on what I think is the final night. So, I got one, one of the buildings done. So, I've at least got a fortified building, one, two, and three. So, that's probably what I'll do, is I'll, I'll station people in each of these three fortified buildings, and then I'll move them as necessary. So, let's get everybody off of scavenging, everybody off of building, everybody on the guard duty, and then, uh, yeah, all of my people are coming back in. So, we will go through this final night together. Stop working. Start winding down for some rest. On my way. Rest. No rest. Building clear. Okay, you're gonna go there. Ready you're gonna for go action. Back there. Roger. Waiting orders. And you're gonna go there. Roger. Hey. Operator. I said you're going there. Roger. All right. We are about as ready as we're going to be. Um, hold on. We've got 53 people? Oh, crap. We lost somebody. Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Get okay. Get ready Receive to defend it. the zone. Operator. Oh, you know what this is from? This is from that fight that they had over here. There, there's the gun right there. Ah! I was kind of hoping I'd get through this without... So these guys are probably going to have to stay in this one. That's okay. They can defend that corner. Because I'm not sending them out with only three people. Hostiles inbound. Ready these for guys will move. Yeah, in fact, I'm We're moving them move. right now. That really is probably the most vulnerable spot that I have. Roger. And they know it and they're going after it. Holy crap. Our building is under attack. Yeah, if I could have gotten this. Hello. We've got them. Kill things. Twenty six thousand. Twenty seven thousand. Yeah, see this this corner's getting hit a lot. I really wish I had I had the people to put in there. Receive it. Another one incoming. Holy crap. Actually, I almost wish I could take coming. this building. Uh, they're going to be just fine over there. I'd love to be able to take down that building, or even take that building and turn it into a... Yeah, it'd be nice to own that building, and then just move the defenses out to there. So on my last playthrough at this point, Another one incoming. Um, I had walls all around everything, but they had they had chewed right through the walls. And once they chew through the walls, there's not enough towers. They uh, oh, come on. reporting. Get up there. incoming. On my way. They're breaking into our building. Holy crap! Look at this. That is a lot of horde. Infected incoming. They're gone. We've got them. On my way. Kill them. On 
my way. Infection clear. Kill them. Infection clear. Attack! Wow, everywhere is getting hit at once. Reporting, get going back there. Down there. Luckily, there's enough for a small horde. Yeah, I'd really like to move out to take these buildings here. That gives me a lot more field of fire, right? Can't believe I lost a person. I was really hoping not to lose anybody this time. But I gotta say... Uh, that this really, I think this really is the way to go. Having everybody on guard duty at night, basically having walls that shoot back. Because they rarely go past, right? If something's shooting at them, they rarely bypass it and keep going. They try to kill it. So, you know, having that there shooting at, at Horde is almost as good, if not better, than a, an actual wall, I think. Um, so we're going to make it through the night. We only lost one person. And that was because Boss, we found that night. horde. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come, our chances of survival will be really low. We'll show them. Then we'll take down as many as we can before we um, fall. Yeah, so the... 666. So, this zone... Last time it was 714, but this zone, I think, gives me the m most infected um, that there are. Uh, like, I've, I've never had as many infected in any zone other than this one. So this is definitely a high infected zone. Um, and I think, like I said, the only person that died was the one that where we found Horde in a house. Um, and that is uh, really the riskiest place to fight Horde. If you find Horde in a house, try to get out. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it. Hopefully, um, hopefully I'm able to condense this down uh, so it's not too much. I got, I got an hour, over an hour and a half of uh, footage of this game. So I'm going to try to condense it down closer to like 20 minutes or something. So uh, if you like the video, please uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends about me because I uh, want to grow the channel. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.